Well, hello and welcome back, subscribers. Thanks for clicking on today's video. Hope you'll stick around to the end because today I'm going to be sharing more information about my webtoons. I've been working on this for a couple of days now, and I'm really happy that I didn't rush this because this is the first time that I've ever made a poster. Uh, I have made some concept art before, but I've never had this many characters, and I'm hoping to be able to do another one with some backgrounds in it, perhaps creating a map. Uh, in more detail of some of the locations in the Dawn of Gales, because the world I actually came up with the name of Nexus for the planet that they're on, and I'm working on many different locations, and I'm also still working on that encyclopedia that I started. Don't worry, there will be more of those videos soon. I have a lot planned for the month of June that will be fleshed out on top of Pride Month. I want to create a lot of my ships that I have of my characters to share with you all, and just some stuff for Redbubble that I want to create for all of you in support of the LGBT community, as well as Art Fight, if that's still going on, uh, to try and kind of spread the word about my artwork. Something that I've been wanting to do is creating not only fan artwork, but just bringing your characters to life. And so that way I can also kind of not only share my art so that people basically are like, hey, Stencil Fox drew that, and where can I find this Stencil Fox? And then people can come to my YouTube and Instagram and find me, and hopefully stick around. But also, it's just something that I love to be able to bring other people's characters to life, especially when I have free time. At the moment, I have quite a bit of free time, and I should probably dedicate it mostly to YouTube and uh, my webtoons, but I don't want to give myself burnout. Hence why I was happy to be able to get some paints so that I can work kind of just outside in like my backyard garden, and just, you know, when I go out to the parks from time to time on daily walks with my fiance. This also gives me a chance to kind of get some inspiration for my Webtoons comic and other silly little shenanigans for TikTok and YouTube when I want to just create something silly and engaging and entertaining for you all to watch along. Something that I'm also trying to work on with these videos is also my voice confidence while I'm talking about the projects that are on screen. Whether I'm talking about a story time that's happened to me like the last one, uh, with the paints, or if it's just something that is just me sharing as much advice as I can or a bit about me when I'm working on these projects. Don't know if you guys would be curious to kind of hear my thoughts when working on this, but when I was working on this, as you guys may have noticed, I decided to actually do each character one at a time and work on just basically the base colors and then a little bit of rendering and shading for the details of their faces or hair. Um, and then I went back over everything layer by layer so that I could sort of work on different light sources. I wanted the main focus to be that your eye gets led from the bottom to the top and kind of get curious about the characters and kind of what uh, their expressions say about their personality. So Vixie, of course, being the young protagonist who is learning to be the next guardian, holding her tome book. If you guys have been reading along, you know that she has this as her starting point, and her teacher Dax, who is on the left here, who is watching over her, and then a chorus who's a bit stubborn and a bit unsure of the interactions after first meeting her, and then unknown characters such as Circeum, the guardian of balance, and the antagonist Diesel looming in the background, who you haven't quite seen just yet, but I have shared videos on YouTube so that you guys do kind of know who he is, but if you haven't seen my YouTube, then he'll be a surprise when you actually get to him in the comic. This is something that I wanted to kind of share a little bit about him so that you'd be curious, but not enough details to know when he'll show up, where he'll show up, and how his magic necessarily works, because he does have dark magic, and that is one of the main points of the good versus evil that I have, but with my own twist on it, because I didn't want this to just be your standard fantasy of good versus evil, and of course, I didn't want it to just be the knight in shining armor style thing where Vixie either gets saved by someone or she is saving someone. It is a much more fleshed out story with all of the characters getting their own character development paced throughout it because I didn't want it to just be sort of the camera is only on Vixie and Vixie has to be in every scene. I don't want that. I want to be able to switch the perspectives so that characters can have their key moments throughout the story. And if you guys are curious for more information about this and want more videos, I will be planning more of these, so let me know down in the comment section below what you think of today's video. 
And if you're curious about the letters, check out my webtoons so you can decode the little magical letters. There's an alphabet decoder on the first few pages. And if you guys would like, this will be up on my Redbubble, checking it out on Instagram and my link tree for ways to support the channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on those notifications and check out the webtoons, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye!